Listening Library presents Who Was Abraham Lincoln? by Janet Pascal. Read for you by Kevin Pariso. Who Was Abraham Lincoln? April 11, 1865. After four terrible years, the American Civil War, the war between the North and the South, was almost over. Now it was clear that the North would win. President Abraham Lincoln had fought the war to prevent the rebel South from leaving the Union. He wanted the country to stay one country, the United States of America. From the window of the White House, the President addressed the big crowd below. His twelve-year-old son, Tad, was at his feet, collecting the pages of the speech as the President dropped them to the floor. A man in the audience called out, What shall we do with the rebels? Someone answered, Hang them. Before the President could answer, Tad piped up, No, we must hang on to them. Sometimes Tad understood his father better than anyone else. President Lincoln wanted to hang on to the defeated southern states. He wanted to make them feel that once again they were part of the Union. He wasn't interested in revenge. Lincoln was a remarkable president and a remarkable man. He hoped to turn his enemies back into his friends. Chapter 1. Life in a Log Cabin The man who was often called America's greatest president was born on February 12, 1809, in a crude log cabin in Kentucky. Eighteen feet long and sixteen feet wide, it had a dirt floor and no windows. His father, Thomas Lincoln, was hard-working and quiet, and famous for his honesty. He'd had little schooling, just enough to sign his name. Abraham's mother, Nancy Hanks Lincoln, was intelligent and curious. She could read a little, but couldn't write at all. The Lincolns were poor. They moved from one small farm to another, trying to scratch out a living. When Abraham was seven, the family moved from Kentucky to Indiana. One reason for the move was that Kentucky was a slave state, while Indiana was a free state. The Lincoln family hated slavery. Abraham later said that he was naturally anti-slavery as far back as he could remember. Eventually, the Lincolns ended up on a tiny farm in... Sample complete. Ready to continue?